Hello and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. In today's video of custom QuickBooks training, I want to show you how to create an invoice within QuickBooks Online. Please note this is the Canadian version of QuickBooks Online. If you're looking for instructions for the US version or the American version, I definitely have those on my YouTube channel. You're also welcome to watch this. The instructions will be slightly different, but you'll still get the big idea. All right, to create an invoice for our client, we can do a couple of things. My favorite is to click on the plus new in the upper left hand corner. When I click on plus new, I'm basically opening up a menu of things that I can do. I like to think of it as the I wanna do something button. Under the Customers column, I'm going to select Invoice. I'm then going to identify the customer I'd like to invoice. As is common in Canada, I have people in different currencies. So I have a USD client, I have a CAD client, I have a Hong Kong client. For simplicity, I'm just going to pick a CAD client. So I'm picking Benjamin Young. I'm not going to send him an email because this is the sample file. If I wanted to send an email, I certainly could by entering the email address here. I can toggle this button to say I will or will not accept credit cards. I can indicate the terms. The terms basically mean, when do I want this person to pay? Now, I want them to pay, right? Like, whatever I pick here doesn't mean they're going to pay or pay on time. But this is where I can say, gosh, Benjamin, could you pay me within 30 days? Or could you pay me as soon as you get this email? I pick my invoice date. The invoice dates are in Canadian format, so you're going to notice that it goes date, month, year. And then my due date is automatically calculated. If I change my terms, you can see my due date automatically updates. I'm skipping over the tags and coming down here to product or service. Let's go ahead and pick the drop down and decide what we're going to sell. I feel like a gold party would be quite delightful. So we're going to sell a gold party. The default text is Holiday Party Gold Level. I can add any additional text that I'd like. So let's go ahead and add the text of St. Patrick's Day. Okay, so I've added the text to St. Patrick's Day. It's one, I'm gonna charge 2,000 Canadian dollars. I'm gonna go ahead and say that my sales tax is in Ontario. In the upper right hand corner, I can say that my rate is exclusive of tax, meaning here's my rate, put sales tax on top of it. I can say that it's inclusive of tax, meaning this is the amount of money I'm charging my client and sales tax is bundled into it. Or I can say that it's out of scope and that sales tax does not apply. In this case, I'm gonna select exclusive of tax. I'm not gonna use class tracking, so I'm gonna skip over that. I can customize the message on the invoice. It currently says, it's a pleasure doing business with you. Remember, referrals are appreciated. And truly they are. If you like what I do, please refer me. If you like what someone else does, please refer them. It makes a huge difference to small businesses. I'm not gonna have a message on a statement. The statement is just a summary of all the invoices that are outstanding, and I'm really hoping that Benjamin pays the invoice and we don't need to send him a statement or a gentle reminder. Over to the right, I can indicate my discount percentage or my discount value. Discount value isn't very intuitive, so I'll just show you. If I enter $10, it, it'll go to the right and I'll say minus $10. So if I were to offer a discount, I can say how much my discount is by picking percentage or value. In this case, I'm not gonna offer a discount. From here, I can print or preview if I wanna see what it looks like before he gets it. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. So I'm looking at it and I'm like, okay, there we are. Yep, it's all super clear, happy about this. From here, I can select save and send or save and close. I'm gonna choose save and close. The reason for that is that I'm not sending anything out of the sample file. I hope this video has been helpful for you. If you have any questions or if you have any topics that you'd like to see in a future video, please don't hesitate to leave a note in the comments. Thank you so much, I really appreciate you.